But when I was before the Lord, all five of my senses, all five that my soul depends on, were more alive, were more blessed. My taste, I could taste greater. With my nose, I could smell all the fragrance. And other visions to where he came other times and took me to heaven and I entered in there's seven levels up there in heaven the throne is on the third level I don't know what goes above that but you're continually growing in heaven just like you do down here only up there you don't have any devil opposition down here you have a lot and you know the greater devil opposition you have down here, the greater you are in heaven. Because you've had to fight greater wars. Some people that are really be that are really uh, in great leadership down here, they don't have much reward up there because they didn't have to fight much. But some people are just coming out of carnality. And out of the bottom of the pit. Man, they got beautiful mansions up there. In one vision, I saw one of the most beautiful mansions up there. And a woman had it by the name of Corey Ten Boom. And the Lord said, she pleased me. You want to copy after somebody because she copied after me. She really lived in humility. I want to tell you, sisters have just as big a testimony up there as brothers do. Now, my own way of seeing this is their beautiful mansions in heaven was created in them down here by what they endured you want a pretty mansion in heaven then grow up down here because that mansion that's built by the Holy Spirit's you you're the house the Lord builds to dwell in and I mean that Cory Ten Boom was built by the Spirit beautifully down here but in heaven her mansion showed she was that mansion so were you the only thing that is not settled in all creation is you. If the Lord wanted to build kingdoms or anything, he'd speak it into existence. You are the mansions he's building. You are the land that he wants. You are the holy land that he's raising up for his use. And you grow into humility. And you grow up in righteousness, taking on holiness. And you will be a beautiful mansion that the Lord will inhabit I was taken to the first level and it was like eternal springtime there and just the you might say those Christians is saved by grace is the only one I was comfortable on and as I went there he took me into a beautiful meadow and it was like spring only the light wasn't like a sun as we know it it was like everything was light. In, in the kingdom of heaven, everything is light. The flowers are light. The water is light. And they're just different colors of light. And so he took me there. and I just wanted to lay there in that meadow. It was, I mean, peace. All over the peace is beyond anything I can describe to you. I wish I had words, but I can't do it. And so that peace was there. And as I would just lay down in the grass and the flowers, uh, it was like I was liked. And I wouldn't hurt the flowers, but I could smell them. The sense of smell is beyond anything you can imagine. Can you imagine all the flowers in the earth and all the nectar being poured into one drop and put underneath your nose? It's like you can smell all the nectar of all the beautiful smells on the earth at once. It was like everything on the earth was first in heaven and then brought down here as a blessing. Uh, they were fruit there. And the Lord picked some fruit and said, Taste it, I tasted of it. Well, I love uh, apricot, especially when it's real juicy. And it was sort of like a real juicy, ripe apricot. Oh, it was. Oh, the taste was beyond anything that I can describe, do. And then I listened. I was right by a brook. And he was running down uh, some trees on both sides of the brook. And I could hear the water running. And the water was singing praises. 
and I could see the wind blowing like in the pine trees. And it was praising too. And they were birds sitting on the branches of those pines. And they were singing praises. And the Lord said, look at those. Those are the songbirds that I loose to the earth, to the body. So that's why I call the praisers the songbirds. Because when they start praising in the spirit, one of them birds from up there just comes and sits on their shoulder and begins to sing in their ear. And so they just repeat it. I mean, that's the way it works. So these songbirds we've got here is because they've been anointed by those that sent to them. And so sound was beyond anything I can tell you. All the sounds there were so pleasant. There wasn't anything that irritated your ear. Uh, they was, uh, the saints were being taught or were in praise or in song. The songs there were so beautiful. And the music was beyond description. And uh, it was just the contentment that was in me. Uh, I had a desire that I could have just stayed there for thousands of years without moving. Uh, the feelings that come over me. When those songs and everything had come, they were feelings like just a wave would come through my body. And the feelings, one of the sense of feel, was just, as, as the praisers would come, it would be like a ripple would come through me. That's what's going to happen in this body too. It's going to come like this, like a ripple. And then it'll come like this, like a wave, again and again. You're going to start seeing. That was sound and feelings, hearing and feeling. And as I already told you about my eyes, everything that I seen was beautiful. He took me to the second level of heaven. It was like unto the first. Only the light was more severe. It hurt my head. I wasn't mature enough to enjoy it. Then he took me to the third heaven and to the throne room. And uh, literally those that mature in the last days in the church of Philadelphia, they're the ones that will be in that third heaven. But there I couldn't stand it all. I had to hide behind Jesus. Jesus was like colored sunglasses to me there. And I had to look through him to even see any of the things going on there. And I was begging him to take me back. The only place I was happy with was the first level. And that's where all the, literally the baby Christians went. That's why I was content. But that third level was so much light and glory beyond all the other levels. And the saints in heaven are continually growing and growing and going from one level to another. They're continually ministering to one another, teaching one another. They're doing many things. Their activity is there. But the third level, its light was so bright that it was like the light of platinum or like gold. And uh, I was very, very uncomfortable there because the light was stronger than what I could bear. So he took me back down to the first level. And that's where he's taken me quite a few times when I go to heaven. And that's where I've seen some of the saints. Uh, he won't let me talk to the saints. Especially some of the disciples. The apostles that become apostles. Because they got a right to talk to us first. For you see, you're part of their testimony. And your children. And your children's children are part of their testimony. So they're waiting to see how their testimony winds up as we're one another, part of one another's testimony. There's not any private thing in the body of Christ because every one of us cross-pollinate one another's lives so much that it's really one testimony down through all history. And we're the end product of all the suffering, of all the breakthroughs, and all the prayers, and all the praise, that's ever been in the body of Christ. And your children will be the product of what you go through as your grandchildren, and you'll see your grandchildren. But you are in that end time 
and you can expect these revelations of what I'm speaking about to increase because in the movement of the spirit these five senses that your mind depends on to run it you're going to have to submit them to the spirit within you and you're going to begin to understand how to do that and how to move in the spirit because it's the five senses that you move in exercising the senses get ready to understand Hebrews 5.14 on a level like you've never known before and especially 6.1 because you've got to go through 5.14 before you get to 6.1 and the best way I could say about 6.1 is just uh, maturity uh, growing up in righteousness the place that you can take hold of holiness it's really what it's saying there and you do that by destroying your carnal five senses and making them look to the spirit within you for the answer for the answers within you you're going to learn how to do it it's your choice believe no matter what your five senses says and that TV and the radio is saying believe that God's got it all under control he does and that you are the beloved that he's been waiting to put on his knee you are and that his love is towards you it is get ready to love in a new way that you've never loved before.